Come on, baby. Uh, and it's a and it's storm, storm, storm Hell into yeah. the mid lane. Yeah. Mill is also around, but again, early levels on a Sand King. You can offer a stun that's so late. There's not a lot of stuff to help save Ramses. In fact, this dive there. As you can see, Ramses brought it down oh, very no, he's low. In trouble. If you dive that deep, though, there is going to be the chance for a turnaround, and they will. He comes in far too close. Get it there on Pycat. And Pycat, of course, in this aggressive tri lane. Uh, he himself, even though they're, they're kind of trying their best to keep control of it, it's not like he's racing ahead of the troll. Uh, they're even at the moment. In fact, now with this uh, stun into the slow, Biver falling very, very low here. Will be able to keep himself, himself alive just about with the stick charges. On the back, Na'Vi are closing in with the Blade Fury. They'll be the one to get the kill as they take down Troll. The uh, rotation is coming in from no one. He's going to look towards Seneco. We'll get the chance to grab the bounty, but uh, between the Storm and the Sand King, they've got a good chance of this. They need to just slow him down uh, long enough to get that stunning range, which they do do so. And Seneco tries for the cogs in this game. In fact, he may just He's make out. it. He is out, and the turnaround's there. Dendi's coming with a rotation. The setup for the Assassinate's there. Oh, it's the hasted sniper. Oh, they're going to get solo as well with this slow coming through from Biver. And that's the Storm Spirit going down off the rotation there, too. That's awful from Storm. Top lane, they may get the uh, the Dragon. Biver slowed down. Have they got the damage? One more touch will do it. They do find it, but Pycat in return gets one kill. They've got the Telekinesis, the control, zip him from no one, and they do punish Pycat for the play. Claim the objective. That's pretty much why they were there. Any kills after that's just a bonus. Oh, no. Oh. Look, talking about bonus kills here. Straight in on the middle. Playing around the night vision, General able to get in with the silence, and Dendi in position with the Shadow Blade. You know, Troll doesn't casually just walk up to your tower and they've been losing the entire game. I, I, Navi think he may be. They're, they're going to go in on this one, and you've got the wraparound. Here comes the epicenter. Jump forward from Lil, comes in with the Burrow Strike, but the Healing Ward is already out. The Blade Fury action is there from Pycat on the sideline. Solo steals the Blade Fury, trying to get himself away, but Dendi, he's just peeping him away. He'll take down one, no one. Zips up to the high ground, keeping the vision here with the Shrapnel. No, Pycat as well, heading straight across, jumps forward, and with the. Uh, uh, it just slashes him to pieces. And with an assassinate onto no one, no one's in trouble as well. He'll get to the shrine. Well, he's very low on the mana. Too. But the silence is there. Pycat continuing with the run down. They have the Void, the Blade Fury. He is going to be able to zip a little bit out. And then Pasha coming in just in time will be enough to save no one for now. Oh, They're I say that. Done. No, Seneco, he's got the hook shot back up. And just that kill gives VP the confidence to walk yeah. in the pit like that. And can Navi stop this? I mean, they'll lay down the off of the Jukiro. Pycat tries to come forward, but he gets Burrow Strike immediately into the Telekinesis. He'll do, still get the chance to play through. Goes in towards the pit, Roshan down, oh, and Pycat snatches it. the Aegis. He's going to have Omni Slash available because again. He jumps out of the Blade Fury with the Omni Slash, but the GA comes through. Seneco shoots across with the Hookshot, forces himself forward. Traps Pacha in the cogs, the Ice Path to follow up. General lays down the Silence onto the Omni Knight, and Pasha, all he can do is run. And they'll get bursted down there by the Rocket Flare and the Void from General. A little bit right. worried of a reaction coming in from Na'Vi. Well, trying to create some space, hopefully force some TPs out, but there's no TPs. They're not afraid. Mid lane, Seneco. This time we'll find the connection with the hook shot. I'm going to see the jump forward with the Omni Slash, but Ramsey's wants to get himself away. Repels there from Pasha. Jump forward now for Lil, looking to react as they get the stun in, but the force back there from Seneco trying to get That's the jump back to safety. Too. The ice path comes through as well, but it's not enough. Pycat's down. Huge hole though from Biver here, breaking VP apart. They have to be careful how they continue to chase this down. They'll look towards Seneco with the purification damage, zip forward, but he gets held back. No one in the ice path. Seneco, they're trying to save him. They're going to be unsuccessful though, as no one finds a double kill. There we have it. No one looking for the tower in the middle lane. Right, Dendi do anything about over. this. Over they go, over the trees, there's the silence, but Pash is there with the repel, and now no one just turns straight towards General, and in fact may just get the killer, he's going to tick down low and he's going to take is it. Is that the gem too? Uh, they're trying to get it picked up, they are trying to get it picked did they get it? Yes, it's on oh, Pasha. No. Pasha's managed to reclaim it. Solo, Blade Fury away from a Blade Fury and Pycat. Now opening up with the Diffuser Blade, Solo will almost certainly fall as Pycat's able to chase him down. No one ready to go back in though, the Mantle's already being used by Pycat here, so the Silence is successful, bringing him down low, but the mech comes through from Na'Vi. They'll keep Pycat alive, now turning towards Pasha with the Blade Fury, they chase him down, pick up the double kill, but Lil comes in on the back lines with the Epicenter. Na'Vi forced back up to the high ground, no one is out of mana though, so can't chase down Dendi. Dendi and Pycat realize this, they're going to go straight oh, back Rams in, onto down the bottom, Storm without the any mana, and no one's, he's going to kill himself, but yeah, what's going on bottom? What is happening on the bottom lane? That's a melee rack already. Oh my goodness. What just oh, happened? Na'Vi just got trolled. <laughs> Troll killed Clockwork at the tier 3 and took the base within like 15 seconds. <laughs> and uh, I feel like Solar Crest is probably the biggest 
item that'll kind of help Dendi survive. Nothing he really builds at this point is going to help him too much, but if Suneko can get that solar crest up, but he's not really farming, you know, he's a clockwork, he runs oh. around looking for kills like this. Look who it is. Oh, actually, well, okay, no, it looks like they've got enough stun. No, the BKB, he comes out. No one's picked it up, and now he's turning BKB. around. There he goes, straight in. I, that, I don't think they expected that one, Na'Vi. And no one, he's found one. He's going to look to zip forward on Suneko. The BKB now wearing off. He's looking to chase down more, gets the slow onto the clockwork, and that's going to be another one there for VP, no one. I don't think they expected that BKB at all. No, not at all. No. They thought they had one clean, but unfortunate. Sometimes that happens. And uh, they may get another here. Yeah, Bivers getting surrounded. Ramsey's in to, to join in the action, and a third pick up for VP. Oh, no, I can't. No, oh, he is a goner. Straight in they go. The damage is more than there, and that's Pycat down for 70 seconds. Mass BKB's out, and they zip forward. Look at the clock. Yeah, he's not going to hold back. No, when he goes up to the high ground, make sure that they get Suneko as well. Double kill for no one. And in the middle, can they save the Sand King? Denny's trying to beat upon him, but Ramsey just goes straight to the back lines, finds the sniper, takes the Aegis out of Dendi's hands. And VP coming in thick and fast here, and Na'Vi just can't stop them. They've got the control solo with the stolen Ice Path laid down as well. Some Ice Path onto Ice Path action. As I think this game may just be over. Yeah. VP have just come in. They've gone crazy. The BKPs are out. Ramsey's had an, in an entirely free game. And you're just left to deal with this guy on your own. It just yeah. doesn't work out for Sniper at all. Even with Denny's fantastic start in this game. You know, uh, VP made quite a swift comeback. We blinked and then bottom racks was just gone. It was. That mid lane fight was a, a long and a little painful for VP in terms of people dying, but yeah, they, they just had the long game planned out. It's Storm hard. looks so hard to kill. Here we go. Okay, okay so they're jumping on onto Pasha. Hook shots there from Seneca. Wood trap rampages in the cogs, but the GA just comes out. No one just turns straight towards the Jakira, and that's going to be Jakira down. Lil comes in with a burrow strike onto Dandy, who's trying to get himself away with the Shadow Blade, but the sentry's down on the high ground, and it, it was just a smoke into what, really? There was just, what, what are you going to do? Yeah, I mean, it was a good attempt, and it's the right idea, especially that part of the game, but they're just too yeah. far behind, and good game's called. Absolutely. And there we have it. Oh, Pasha dropping oh, the disaster. all chat. It's a disaster. Damn, son. I love it. And there we have it. VP, 23 to 19, taking the game. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back for the second game now. Man, tons of misses coming out there from the Whirling Axes. Pretty much saves Solo's life. And Cheap. No one needs oh, to be in trouble. he just got the boots. He's going to die uh, yeah, from here. He's, he's dead, isn't he? he yeah, is he's dead. definitely dead. Dendi gets okay. the solo kill. There we go, boys. He's only played it well, as we saw, three times in the last two and a half years. If he wants to lane, he needs help, but it looks like he's just jungling at this point because the lane is so bad. Up bottom lane, Na'Vi, find the opening to close in. On to Solo, the missed chance coming through. Is it enough to save Solo again? No, but by that, he's outside the range of it. So they will get the kill. Uh, they do lose the Slardar for it, though, and Ramsey's, in fact, chasing down Suneko. Has the vision with the charge coming in. And Suneko, he's going to be a casualty as well here for Na'Vi. Oh, the oh, Sandstorm. The sandstorm. Okay. Ramsey's actually didn't have enough. Oh, he, he's got the mana for Whirling Axis. So, but actually, he doesn't want to come close. He's going to throw them back in. Two seconds for the charge. But Suneko just continues to Sandstorm it up. And uh, the charge by is bringing him low. We'll take him out of it. So they finally do take him out. And it, it was not pretty for Na'Vi. Top Dendi. Uh, oh, oh, we can't. can't hit can he, reach? he can't reach him. Oh, no. Oh, and that's the ultimate oh, on Dendi, no. too. Oh, no. They stunned him on the wrong side of the cliff. And the bear could just stand. And he couldn't hit him. He couldn't reach him. Oh, dear. Pycat may be able to clean up. It will come in, and uh, he will get it. The lasso used in vain. Solo been jumped on as well. So at the end, okay, they were playing the long con. Navi's in kind of an awkward position where both of their blink initiators don't exactly have it, but... Oh, and then the blink, blink on blink there. there. You're going to see Dendi get caught out, but he does have the enrage. He'll actually look to maybe turn and punch into them. It'll be held in position by the magic missile. No, okay, and the fireflies, too much damage gets ticked down. Pycat comes in though, General, with the two-man crush, and then the borrow strike as well. Onto the Ember Spirit, no one pops the stick charges. Corrosive haze on him. They're going to be able to bring him down low. He'll jump in, jump out. He'll get the chains onto two, and Ramses with the rotation will clean up a second kill at the back of this. One more remnant jump. Continues to run general with another blink crush. Is it going to be enough? The bat rider is there to try and help keep the two off him. He's falling incredibly low. There's the jump in with the lasso, dragging the slider across the firefly. 
They do lose the Ember Spirit, and in fact, they're going to lose Pasha as well as the epicenter from Sineko comes out. Lil charging in on this, but uh, he may be in trouble as well. There's there's three, there's three, four members of Na'Vi here, and Lil, he just charged into his death. The, the Dendi will be able to claim the Tier 1 wraparound coming through. They'll get the last one to the Slada, making sure that he can't jump in, but with the Ice Path on the Ember, he's in trouble. No, gets swapped out just in time, but Dendi claims the kill onto Solo in return. Lil charging forward, now heading back. On the sideline, Pycat drawing Ramses and Pycat away. Ramses will continue to chase down the Weaver, gets the bash, but it's not enough. And on the sidelines, Dendi just moves in, takes down Lil as well. Ramses is still hanging around here. General could find a blink crush. Do they have the follow through yet? They've got the Borrow Strike coming in, straight into the epicenter. And Ramses, he'll put the Whirling Axes, he'll try and get himself out. Pasha with the Flame Braid back, but Pycat coming across with the Diffusal Blade, slows down Ramses. Ramses is down, General gets another blink crush. In onto the Pasha with the Bash and the Corrosive Haze. Another one for Na'Vi, Dendi. Falling low, but he's still got that. He's still got that Aegis. Backlines waiting to try to find one of these heroes to just go in on, but they do have the charge to kind of give vision here. Oh, and here we go. There we have the drag back and the remnants onto two. Bam! No one. <laughs> Falling very nicely through with the wombo there. Dying a few too many times off on his own. He's got to be more careful. Uh, but it is so hard for him. There's so there's so, so much, much catch. catch. Yeah. There's so much catch. Oh. With the swap there, it's, it's not going to save Lil. Maybe it will actually, as they do come in with the combo, but General's there in with the two-man crush, but then return. The lasso comes out, Burrow Strike from Sineko, clips onto two, Dendi falling down low here. Pycat's trying to come across to rectify the situation, looks towards Ramses. Ramses trying to get himself away and out of this one. Pycat looking to hunt for more, goes for solo, and Sineko comes back in with the Burrow Strike, follow through crush from General. Five, four, two. It's back up. They'd love to find a kill first before they go in for it, and they might just get it here with this jump forward. Lasso onto the dragon, bringing back Shakira. He's down and down. They get the charge forward, but Snako's in there with the epicenter. It might not matter, though, because the chains come out onto two. Dendi falling low. Snako falling even lower. We'll get the burrow strike out, but the slider fist is there for no one to take him down. And Dendi chased up as well, surrounded. It's going to be a double kill for Ramses. Yeah, he, they need he really more. doesn't. There we have Dendi. <clears throat> Looking for the easier call. Ramses certainly the one to take down, and bam, they got it. He's just going to be popped. He needs backup. He says, boys, you better get yourselves in it. And they get in there thick and fast. Lil straining with the charge. Looking for Dendi on the back lines. They've got the lasso onto General, but he wants to be able to get away. Oh, that's a nice epi. epi. That is a very nice epi. Lil taken down. They'll find Solo as well. Yeah, especially during daytime, too. Yeah. Can... Oh, oh the swap. swap. Hey, you can't axe off the swap. That's something. They'll get the bash. The ice pop will be laid down, though, up onto the high ground with the BKB now. Complete on Pasha. He comes in. The epicenter comes out. Lil falling low. Pike out solos down the Venge, but already they've lost Dendi. Ramsey just on the high ground, bashing into General. Takes down the fishy fellow. Suneko to fall as well. And this could be VP on the borderline of closing up the game. Na'Vi just lose four. The racks now exposed in the middle lane. BP move on, and it's 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 just the Ursa conundrum. It really is. You you have an amazing time, kill loads of people, but you just don't win the game, Brax. Uh, they just there you go. They're definitely borderline getting mega creeped here. Navi may give themselves one more shot at a team fight. Pycat comes forward, looking to force no one away. But uh, VP are certainly cleaning up the base here. General jumps in, gets the crush. Ice path laid down as well. Ramses will be chased down. Pycat's there. They can do this, but no, Ramses just popped the BKB. He says, I'll turn towards Shakira. I'll get Ripke's piece. Turn towards the Pycat. Pycat's to Shikuchi away. Now goes towards General. With the BKB up, they just can't hurt Ramses. Burrow Strike comes in, but it's going to miss. Ramses just gets a double kill. The World Place comes out. Now they surround him. Dendi is there. They'll finally kill him, but General tabs out. He's done. He says GG. It's all over. The Mega Creeps are out. Na'Vi want this one to end, and it will. VP take the series 2-0. And Na'Vi, even after some very strong lanes at the beginning, you know, winning the mid lane, I mean, it was a mid lane where there wasn't really anyone to play against, so you'd yeah. expect him to win against no one. He destroyed no one. that lane, actually. He destroyed it, you know.